guys welcome back to my youtube channel today in this tutorial i am going to show you how we can create dynamic dependent drop down list in react native so here as you can see we have select country select state and select city drop down and here you can see that we don't have any values for the select city and state but for the select country we have list of countries present and here we can select for the country so here i can search for it or we can scroll through the list i'm going to search it and after selecting the country here we can see the list of state so this list is generating dynamically through an api and here let's select the state so after selecting the state here we can select the city so here i'm selecting it and now let's submit it so here we can see all the data which we have selected so this is what we are going to create today in this tutorial so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial then hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified whenever i post a new tutorial on this channel so without wasting any more time let's get started okay so here is our project and here we are going to create the dependent drop down list and for that first i am going to install a package called react native element drop down so let's copy this code and paste it here so it has been installed now we can implement it so here we can see an example of it and it will create a drop down list like this so i'm going to copy it and now let's go to app.js and select everything and delete it and now i'm going to paste it and it would be app component so i have renamed it now save it and here we have an error which is this react native vector icons and yes i haven't installed react native vector icon because i don't want to use any icon here as you can see here we have an icon which is this icon so i don't want to use it so let's get rid of that so here we can see the drop down and also i don't need this render level function so i'm going to delete these things as well and for this container i'm going to add justify content center and align content center as well and to make it work let's add this flex one so here we can see the drop down list so it has been created and the data is coming from this data array now let's style these things and for that here i am going to provide another view and it will wrap the drop down list and here i am going to provide a color and the color will be this color for this view let's provide some style here i am going to provide background color white padding 20 and then border radius 15 pixel so that's how this section will look like after this let's change this to select country and now i'm going to copy this drop down two times and first it will be select state and then it will be select city and here for the drop down let's provide margin bottom 10 and here i'm going to provide status bar for the bar style i will use light content to make these things white now let's actually work on this select country option so that instead of this item list we will get the list of countries for that we need to get help from an api and for that i am going to use this country state city api and here in the documentation we can go to all countries list and here we can see the example and i am going to use axios example so this is how you can call the api and to call the api you need to have an api key and for that you can request api key from here so let's implement it and for that first i'm going to install axios and now it has been installed now first i need to import that 
and after importing let's copy this thing and here let's import use effect hook from react and then here we can use those code which i have just copied and here i need to provide my api key you need to provide your own api key save it now after saving here we can see some list to make this thing properly visible here i have react native debugger and let's select debug with chrome so now it has been connected and here we can see the response with the id name and iso2 values for each country right and now here we need to create the data array based upon the data which we get from the response so for that first i am going to create account variable to count the response which i am getting from the api after that i need to create the country array and right now this is a blank array and let's run a for loop and this for loop will run for each item up to the value of the count and now let's build the country array let's add the values to the country array by using this dot push function and here we need to provide this label and value so let's provide value and for the value we need to provide the name so here we can see the name present here it will be response data i it will be for each item and then we need to provide this value this iso2 which is the code of the country so that will be the value and for the label we need to provide the name so that i can copy from here and here it will be the name so that's how our array will be created and now we need to present it to the drop down and for that let's create some state first i'm going to create country data state and we can set it by this set country data and similarly we need other one for state and city so i have created those after generating this country array let's set country data with this country array and here instead of this data we can use country data now save it after saving it here we can see list of country present and here we can do the search right now after that based on the selected country we need to get the state list of that country so for that let's go to states by country section and here we have this code so i'm copying this and here let's create a function called handle state and here we can see that we need to provide the code of the country so here let's accept country code and here we need to provide that and here let's provide your api key and ideally you should not provide your api key here like this you should use environment variable to store your api in one file and then use that environment variable here instead of the actual api key if you are not familiar with environment variable or you don't know how to set it up for react native then you can check out the tutorial from the i icon of this video or you can check it out from the description below I have already created a tutorial for it so it will be helpful to you if you don't know how to implement it in react native but for this tutorial i'm not using the environment variable because i want to keep it as simple as i can and let's see the response for the states also so here we can see it is returning similar kind of response as we got from the country api so here we have id name and iso2 so here also we need to create similar kind of array so i am copying the code and paste it here and here instead of country array it will be state array and this time we will set state data and we will call this handle state function from here and here we will pass item dot value and this value is holding the country code which is the iso code for the country okay i have made a mistake here it will be here 
for the select country drop down whenever we are changing the item that means the item is being selected or anything like that that time this handle state function will run so here we will get the country code and based on the country code we will send an api request and from that request we will get the data and from that data we will set the state data and that state data we can present here instead of this data let's provide state data so now let's select a country and then here we can see the list of state is present and for city here we are using data array so instead of data array we need to use city data and we can get rid of this data array and also here we have this set value we don't need this value state instead we need to use country state and city because that value we are setting from here and that value is being used for the value of the drop down and it is similar for all the drop downs for the country we need to set country and the value will be country which we have set by the item value and similarly it will be for state and for the city as well it is just for the value it is not actually implementing the functionality it is just for the drop down element and now after handling the state we need to handle the city as well based on the state and country and for that let's create another function called handle city so here we need to go to the cities by state and country and here we can see we need both city and country code here so let's copy this code from here and here it will be country code and state code so we need both country and state code and here i am going to use template literal and here it will be country code and then here we need to provide state code and then here similarly let's copy the code from here and paste it here and for this one it will be city array and here it will be set city data and for the city also we are getting id and name so here for the value i am going to provide id and here for the city drop down we are using city data and let's use handle state function for the select state drop down and here we need to provide country code and that country code is already been stored in country which is the country state which we have set previously and which we have used the value for for that drop down and here it will be the item value for this drop down which will provide the state code now let's check it for india then here we can see the state list okay so the city list is not showing here okay i forgot to provide api key now let's reload it and select the country select state okay here i have provided wrong function it will be handle city previously i have used handle state so select india then state then city okay so the drop down is working perfectly fine so we are almost done now i am going to do some accessory things which is creating a button with touchable opacity and you need to import that touchable opacity from react native and for the button of it i am going to display the selected values here in this alert box so first let me style it 
let's provide padding 20 for border radius i will provide 15 align items will be center and for the text let's provide white color and let's transform the text to uppercase and for the font weight i will use 600 and now we need to provide the message in the alert box and here let's use template literal so here we can see the data but these are the data which is actually the code of the country or state so these are not the actual name of the country state or city because we haven't stored those in any state so let's create some state to store those value so i have created country name state name city name let's set those so here set country name and we can set it by providing item level because in the level value we have stored the name of the country so similarly we need to do it for state and then for city as well now let's select the country okay so here i am having a network error my wi-fi has gone let me connect to different network okay so i have connected to different network now let's reload the app and here we can see we got the response from the api so now let's select the country then let's get the state and select the state from here and here let's select the city now submit it and still it is showing the same because we haven't changed it so here we need to change the country name state name and city name so now let's submit it so here we can see the correct data right so this is the tutorial guys i hope you have learned something new from this tutorial if you do so then hit the like button subscribe to my channel let me know by commenting down below and if you have any kind of suggestion for me then also let me know and don't forget to share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues and i will see you guys in my next tutorial in the meantime have a great day goodbye